Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Blind. So in the last episode, we killed that Octomammoth, and we... Oh my god, what is happening? Okay, this is not what I was expecting right off the bat. Oh my bombs! What have the Red Wings done? I'm assuming that's the Red Wings just there. Epic music, but... Oh my god, why did that just happen? What, dude, are you okay? N not, no, not okay. This really looks like Castle Figaro. Uh, except the, the inside looks a little different, like... Actually, it doesn't look like Castle Figaro at all, never mind. They had a crystal too? Ah... Uh, I mean, that's what you get for having a crystal in today's day and age. That king... No holds but Oh my god, so much treasure. I've got to make it to the healing... The healing pot? Okay. Also, why are all the treasure chests but one opened? Like, I didn't see anyone come down and, like, steal everything. Okay, so there's a healing pot up here? Um... Oh my god, girl. That's... Oh my god, Anna! Go, Tella, run to her side. And who are you? You! You're that bard! You son of a bitch! Anna's dead because of you! What? 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 <laughs> battle music starts before the battle even starts. Oh, this is awesome. How could you do this to my daughter? No, wait! Oh, this is too funny. Oh my god. Wait! Bah! Listen, listen to me, please! Stop hitting me over the head with that ice rod! Oh, thank you, you missed that. Shut up, you spoony bard! <laughs> please! Oh my god. This, this is too good. The Bard's not even fighting back. I love it. This pain. Anna's pain. But I was... Uh... Please stop. Oh, there's Anna. She's not dead after all. Yay. That's interesting. And he's instantly back over there. So... Anna, you're still alive. F Father, he... Gilbert is the Prince of Damsian. In order to hide his identity, he came to Kaipo as a bard. F forgive me, father, for running away. I, I love Gilbert. Golbees is controlling the Red Wings. Who is Golbees? Wow, instant topic change? Okay. I don't know, he was completely cloaked in black. Unbelievably powerful. W wait, why did the Red Wings bomb the castle? They pillaged the castle in order to steal the crystal. My mother, father, dead... And Anna shielded me, shielded me from arrows. How did they do all that with just bombs, though? He means that much to you? F Father, please forgive me. I love Gilbert. You, you said that already. We, we get it. We know. Anna! 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 We need to get that healing pot. Where is the healing pot? I totally missed what he said. Damn it. Oh my, okay, every button advances the text here. That's good to know. I can only think that he's using them to gather the crystals. <sighs> Pitiful fool! Crying won't bring back Anna. Golbees of Baron, I will avenge Anna. Yeah, you tell him. Tell her you can't do that alone. Oh, don't hit me. I don't need your help. I'll kill Golbees on my own. No, you won't. I'm just going to come out and say that right now. No, you won't. <laughs> Anna... Man, this game is just, like, punchy while you're down. I mean, one thing after another after another, just death and destruction. Cry, baby! Death and destruction. You're a man, aren't you? A grown-up, so act like one. You're not the only one who's lost a loved one. <sighs> yes, Rydia, I know. Speak to the devil, actually, what I was talking about. You may be right. I'm... I am just a weakling. In that case, I'll stay here with Anna forever. I don't care about anything else. Dude, she's not gonna... be really able to be around for the next... after the next couple days. Damn it! You're not the only one sad here. Do you think staying here and crying like a child would make Anna happy? Besides, right now we need your help. <laughs> Me? Help you? I'm Cecil. A friend of mine collapsed near Kaipo, stricken with desert fever. We need the light of the desert to cure her. Moreover, we need your help. My help? 
Right, for Rose's sake, please. And he just looks sad for a second. This Rosa person seems like someone important to you. You shouldn't lose the one you love. The light of the desert is created from the secretions of the antlion when it lays its eggs. That's disgusting. Its cave is to the east, but we must cross a shallow stream to get there. There's a hovercraft in Damsian that can cross the shallows. It can also cross the shoals back to Kaipo. That's fantastic. Come on, let's hurry. Yes, let's. And we got Prince Gilbert. Fantastic. What does he do, I wonder? Oh, okay, we're just going to walk away and leave Anna just kind of chilling there. Oh, never mind. No, we're not. Farewell, Anna. And she flashes into oblivion. Yeah, man, this game does not hold any punches. Also, what is going on? Uh, oh, apparently we materialized ourselves a hovercraft. Um, okay, no, that's not how we cross water. How do we cross water? Um, oh, yeah, to the east. He said we can cross stuff, but we, oh, we can cross over rocks. Gotcha. Well, that's kind of neato, I guess. Uh, is there anything up north? No. I guess we'll just get off here then. This is our stop. Is there anything over here before we go to the cave? What is this thing? This is Mount Hobbs. Okay. Well, I will come back for that later because I'm probably definitely not supposed to be there right now. Ah, uh, come to me, Antlion Cave. It's time to put myself inside of you. Oh, nope. Right there. There we go. So. Let us find ourselves some antlion secretions. That, that is just like the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. And we got a potion. I kind of like and dislike at the same time how our sprite disappears when we go below stuff. Yellow jelly. Okay, let's see what Dark Wave does. Also, we can finally figure out how Gilbert works. Oh, he's level 1. Fantastic. Uh, I should probably not use Bolt on a yellow jelly. They probably, they probably absorb that. And Dark Wave, once again, no damage. Sing? You put them to sleep or something? Okay, use medicine. What does medicine do? It's just like a cure-all. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that, but did that cost magic or anything? It doesn't look like it. Uh, should, I wonder if poison multi-targets in this game. Because every other Final Fantasy, they really don't multi-target at all. It's kind of like a one-hit one wonder. However, also... Why? I must wonder, why does Dark Wave not- Oh my god, poor Gilbert. Well, you are level 1. Why do they insist on giving me people who are level 1? Like, that is not- That's not cool, yo. I can't level you up if you're gonna get killed in like one or two hits. Also, please, would something die? Like, this is kind of ridiculous how long it takes to kill these jellies. Uh... Just hit anything. I don't care at this point. Uh, Rydia. Poison does multi-target. Okay, let's try poison then. Uh, I wonder if it does any, like, on-contact damage and then does, like, ticking damage afterward. Uh, okay, it did on-contact damage, but none of them appear to be poisoned. Okay, that's terrible. Rydia, what else can you do that might be decently more effective? Because this is kind of getting on the ridiculous side. Summon? Sure, let's summon a... Oh, I can only ch summon a Chocobo on one of them? Never mind. I guess we can try Bolt and hope it doesn't... <laughs> and hope it doesn't, like, get absorbed. However, I have a feeling... Oh my god, that was the most effective thing of all time! Okay, never mind. Their color is what you should use on them, not the other way around. Noted. Okay. And we, hit, we got a spider web. Ugh. Oh, we have new stuff as well. We have adamantiums. And I should probably bring Gilbert back to life. Poor Gilbert sitting there doing nothing. Let us... Okay, at least Dark Wave is effective against these guys. And yes, that is how the bow works. If I put the bow in one hand and arrows in the other, she will bow stuff. Also, oh my god, how is this stuff not dead yet? And Rydia, don't die on me, please. I would really like to not have to revive you as well. Kill something, Cecil, kill something. Thank you. Now you just do not get to attack, you son of a bitch. Okay, I will bring both of them back to life after this battle, because 
They just don't seem to want to stay alive. Um, I wonder, I just wonder if they're really supposed to be that far behind. Like, that just seems odd to get party members who start at level 1. Also bring them back to life. Oh, well, I guess Gilbert's level 5. Not that it makes a huge difference. Phoenix down. I don't only have one of you. There we go. And what does vegetable do? It summons a fat... Oh, it's the Gishaw's vegetables. Okay. Okay, I understand what is going on. Uh, everything has become understood. So, is medicine a magic? No. However, I can't use medicine outside of battle. So, that's just kind of terrible. Uh, I guess I will just potionify up to, up to max health. And I know this is the most boring thing in the world for you guys to watch. However, it's all a learning process. So, with that learning process in mind, what do I do? I guess I'm gonna... Nope, I'm gonna go down here and get that treasure chest. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I might go down to the south there, depending on what I see on the right here. Do I see anything? I see a treasure chest up there. Okay, well, our next path is determined. I also like the double stairs. That's something you don't see very often in caves, like a double stair pathway. More new stuff. Well, the goblins aren't new, but the basilisk is. So... I guess we'll try Bolt and hope something good happens. Also, is it just me or Bolt seems to be effective on a lot of stuff in this game, at least thus far? Uh, Sing? Sure, let's try Sing, see what it does. Oh, never mind, let's kill everything and move on with our lives. That's okay too, I'm, I'm absolutely okay with this. No, do not exchange, take the potion and run. That is the best idea I've had all day. Uh, is there anything hidden in rocks? No, there really isn't. And I got a golden needle. I'm assuming that cures petrify like it always does. Uh, sure, I'll go down to the right, I guess. More yellow jellies. Finery! Gilbert started gaining levels. That's exactly what needed to happen. Uh, okay, so... We have a cave. So it looks like there's multiple ways to go in this cave, and like going back to the beginning and coming through different doors will get you different stuff. Like Antarctic winds, in this case. <coughs> okay, so we have a choice here. We have a door, or a path. I say it's door time, and I chose wisely. What do we have? What do we got? A Lamia Harp. That seems like something that would be equipped on Gilbert, given that he is a bard. Dreamer. Uh, so the Dreamer puts things to sleep. What does the Lamia Harp do, I wonder? Increases our attack. Uh, I guess there's no way to find out except to equip it. So, man, I don't see anything else he could really that would be useful for him to have. So let us be on our way back out of this cave. Which, for some reason, there's two ways to go up and get yourselves a treasure. Because just in case the first way wasn't good enough for you, there is a second way. Oh, man, we have new stuff. We have the hand laggers again. That's just, that's fantastic. And by fantastic, I mean disgusting. Man, the enemies in this game just look icky. <laughs> Frankly, like all the bugs and stuff we're seeing. It's all kind of like gut-wrenching but not in like a, oh my god, this movie is so sad way, but in a like, why is this happening way? Ah, uh, what is here? Hey, save point and treasure chests. Okay, I will use the save point in a second. However, first of all, let's get ourselves some stuff. Venus down ether and emergency exit. Does that like allow us to exit from caves really quickly just in case? Yes, it does. Good to know. I'm used to that being like escape rope or uh, something along those lines. I guess we should probably use a tent, given that people are kind of low on magic. Namely, Rydia, because she's the only one who has magic. However, I digress. I digress, rather. I can enunciate my letters, usually. Not very often. Never mind. I don't know why you guys listen to me half the time. <laughs> Okay, so moving right along, Gilbert and Rydia both gained levels that time, so we're finally moving up in the world. What treasure do we have up here that I spy with my riddle eye? Oh, first of all, we have new enemies, Lacies, or Lackeys. Lackeys sounds more interesting, but I'm sure it's pronounced Lacy. Uh, hey, at least Dark Wave works on them. They really look like those mist monster things, or the mist dragon. So, I mean, if I was mist, I would not want to be iced 
all things considered, because that would freeze all my water particles and then I would die. Um, however, it does not appear that these guys have any problem with being iced. Which completely defies all the logic I tried to put into what spell to cast. So let's hope they... Oh, okay, I was going to say, let's hope they die or their bolt works better. But they died, which I am perfectly okay with. That is actually just like the best thing. I love when stuff dies. And another copper hourglass, which I have yet to use once. Ah, uh, I guess we'll fetch ourselves a treasure over here. Another spider web. Woohoo. So over here. Why is this here? There's no... There's no secrets. Okay. Well, that was just a decoy of a room. Let us move on in the, in the correct direction. And they dropped me another tent. That's just fantastic. I absolutely love tents. So, let us... Okay, we happen to have another choice. I'm assuming this way leads to... Nothing. This way leads to nothing. Why... What's up with all the decoy... Decoy areas all of a sudden, I wonder. Uh, either way, this appears to be funneling me in one direction, so... So, given that this is some... Oh my god, battles. So Gilbert did something weird that battle. Instantly, all of a sudden, he was like, Yeah, no, no, I'm out. And he wouldn't hit. Uh, so is that something things do, like, when they're l low on HP and you haven't healed them up or something? They just, like, run away and save themselves? Because that was decently odd. Also, I feel an antlion coming on. Um, and yep, we split up. This is the antlion's lair. Oh my god. I hope this thing doesn't look completely disgusting. Yeah! Don't worry, the antlion is tame. He won't hurt a human. I'll take the light of the desert. Dude. Wah! Nice pirouette jump, though, I must say. Let's go, Rydia. Uh, oh, I thought you meant run away, not go help him fight. That is an antlion? You're kidding, right? Not enough medicine? Oh my god! Okay, so medicine isn't free, it would appear. Damn. Um, also that thing looks just, just like a fucking retarded mutant dog. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that thing. Like, its eyes go in the frog eye direction. It's like super derpy and... And its teeth are like, yeah, I'm trying to put my mouth around you, and its claws are like, yeah, I'm kind of like claws. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh my god, why do you keep countering stuff? Please stop doing that. Let me put you to sleep. Lullaby. rock the by mutated dog on or in the antlion's lair. When I come in, I'm going to kill you. I don't know why I'm singing. Singing is like the worst form possible in an LP, in my opinion. I really do not sing in LPs, ever, for the most part, as you possibly noticed. Wouldn't that be so cool if you if you could, like, use, um, what should we call it? If, oh my god, what did I do? What has science done? Okay, there we go. Sorry, I hit the Windows key on my keyboard. Um, and cure is effective. Okay, Rydia, that's your job now. What was I talking about? I have no idea what I was talking about. I completely lost my train of thought thanks to <laughs> thanks to the Windows key. So never mind. I guess. I'll just keep curing with Rydia and keep doing damage with the rest of them, and eventually this guy will die. Considering he doesn't do anything except counter us. Which is kinda like oh, never mind. As speak to the devil, as I say he doesn't do anything but counter us, he actually finally does something. Uh no, why even why even bother? fighting, or uh, singing to him, rather. I mean, I'm just going to sit here and attack him, and he's going to attack me, and then we're going to do it all again. So, yeah, what's an extra 10 damage, right? Except when I run out of magic, which could be soon. I only have another 6 tears in me. So, let us make with the damage as quickly as we possibly can. Also, I wouldn't mind some more... This is going to sound like, like I'm dissing on the game, and I'm not... But from a commentary perspective, um, I would absolutely love some more exciting boss fights. Um, frankly, this is kind of boring. Um, it's just us doing the same thing over and over again, and him, him doing the same thing over and over again. And eventually, one of us is going to die. 
and I have a feeling it's going to be him. It might be Gilbert first, actually. But no, no, it's him. So, yeah. That's, that's my piece on that. And Gilbert was the only one to gain a level? How sad. You received the Light of the Desert. Well, that's just fantastic news. So, do we have to fight our way back through the cave? It can't be. Why, why did the antlion... The, the number of monsters have been increasing as of late. Formerly tame animals have started to attack humans. I don't know if this is an omen. Let's get to Rosa, quickly! Right, 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 let's go! Okay, so are we going to... Inst nope, we're not going to instantly exit the cave. So, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Blind, we are going to head to... back to... wherever that desert was called. I don't remember off the top of my head, which is terrible. However, we're going to go back there, and we're going to give Rosa the stuff. And emergency exit looks pretty weird. However, we spin away, just like always. Okay, so, yes, until next time, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all are having a fantastic day.